Kuzu Zangpo. Welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I am Nova Zam and this is a mathematics lesson on exploring 3D shapes for Key Stage 1 classes PP to 3. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and name 3D shapes correctly. You should also be able to describe those 3D shapes correctly. And finally, you should be able to sort prisms and pyramids correctly. Let us move on to learning about three-dimensional shapes. Earlier, we talked about 3D shapes, right? 3D shapes are three-dimensional shapes. Uh, the three dimensions are the length, the width, and the height. Now look at this shape carefully. What do you think this shape is called? This shape is called a cube. Say it again. A cube. Now take a look at this shape. What do you think this shape is called? This shape is called a rectangular prism. What is it called? A rectangular prism. Are these two shapes the same? All right, look carefully. Now, like 2D shapes, 3D shapes also have some things in common. If you look at these two shapes, they have something called the face here. Not our face, but a flat surface on an object is called a face. Now, if you look at this, it has a square face, right? And if you look at this rectangular prism, it has rectangular faces. Now, let's count the number of faces on each of these shapes. Let's count for this shape. One, two, three, four, five, and six so a cube has six faces now take a look at the rectangular prism let's count one two three four five and six a rectangular prism has six faces they also have something in common they also have something called the edge now what is an edge? An edge is where two faces meet and create a line. Look at this shape. This face and this face, they meet at this point forming a straight line here, right? So this straight line here is called an edge. Now let's count the number of edges for this shape. One, two, three, four, let me turn it for you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and twelve. A cube has twelve edges. Let's count the number of edges for a rectangular prism. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A rectangular prism also has twelve edges. That's not all. They also have something in common again. Now if you look carefully at this, do you see something that looks like a corner? All right, these ones, right? Now in a 3D shape, we call them vertices. If there's only one corner, then it will be called vertex. But if there are more than one, we call it vertices. Now, what is a vertex? When two or more edges meet, the point is called a vertex or vertices. All right. So let's count the number of vertices on this shape cube. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A cube has eight number of vertices. Let's count for the rectangular prism. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A rectangular prism also has eight number of vertices. Now, if you look at the attributes, both cube and a rectangular prism have equal number of faces, equal number of edges, and equal number of corners. But are these two shapes the same? Look carefully. No, right? A cube is a special type of a rectangular prism that has all the sides of equal length and all the faces of same size if you look at this cube again you will see that it has square faces right and they are all of the same size see but you will not see that in a rectangular prism all right then now before we explore more 3d shapes I want you to look at these two groups of 3d shapes here we have group a and here we have group B. In group A, the shapes, 3D shapes, all have one thing in common. What do you think it is? Look carefully. All of these 3D shapes have rectangular faces, right? Now the shapes, 3D shapes with rectangular faces are called prisms. Now look at this group. All these shapes have triangular faces, triangular faces, and the 3D shapes with triangular faces are called pyramids, prisms and pyramids. All right, now let's have a look at other 3D shapes. Look at this shape. This is a prism. It has rectangular faces but then you might say oh but it also has triangular faces yes it has two triangular faces which is joined by rectangular faces now why do we call this a prism let me tell you a prism is a 3d shape with two congruent and parallel polygonal bases which are joined by rectangular faces now prisms are named according to the shape of their bases this shape has two triangular bases which is joined by rectangular faces so this is a prism so the name of this shape is triangular prism. You will understand this better when I show you the next shape. Now look at this shape. This shape has triangular faces, so we call it a pyramid. Now if you look at this, this shape also has a triangular face here that is different from this triangular face okay here look at these two shapes now the red one here is a prism like I said earlier and the green one here is a pyramid why a pyramid is a 3d shape with one polygonal base and that has triangular faces which join at a point called an apex so a pyramid has only one polygonal face a prism has two polygonal faces a pyramid has triangular faces and a prism has rectangular faces now there is something special about a pyramid it has a top vertex here which a prism doesn't have okay now these shapes like we said earlier have faces edges and 
vertices, right? So let's count the number of faces, edges and vertices for these two shapes as well. First, let's take the prism. Let's count the number of faces. One, two, three, four and five. A triangular prism has five faces. Let's count the number of edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, turn it over, seven, eight, nine. It has nine edges. Now the vertices. One, two, three, turn it over, four, five, six. A triangular prism has six vertices. Let's take a look at the pyramid now. How many faces does it have? One at the base. One, two, three, four faces. How many edges does this shape have? Let's count. One, two, three, then four, five, and six. Six edges. Now the vertices. One, two, three, and four. It has four vertices. Are they the same shape? No, right? Now did you understand the difference between a prism and a pyramid? Now this is a rectangular pyramid. Why do you think it is called a rectangular pyramid? If you look at a pyramid, we talked about this earlier. It has only one polygonal face, right? That is also sometimes called as a base. We name the shape according to these polygonal faces, okay? This one has a rectangle as its polygonal face and it is a pyramid. So it is called a rectangular pyramid. Now let's count the number of faces for this shape. One, two, three, four, and five. It has five faces. Now let's count the number of edges for this shape. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges. How many vertices does it have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. It has five vertices. This rectangular pyramid is different from the rectangular prism that we saw earlier. Can you see the difference? All right. There are so many more 3D shapes out there. So go ahead and explore. You can find pentagonal prisms and pentagonal pyramids. You can find hexagonal prisms and hexagonal pyramids and many more. And then try to count the number of faces, number of edges and number of corners for these shapes and see how they're different. Okay? Now there are some shapes which are neither prisms nor pyramids. And you can see them every day. This shape is called a cylinder. What is it called? A cylinder. Okay. Now, how many polygonal faces does it have? Does it have any polygonal faces? Remember the definition of polygon. A polygon should have straight sides. Do you see any shape with straight sides here? No, right? It does not have straight sides. But it does have two faces here. And what shape are these two faces? A circle. So it has circular faces. Okay? One and two. Does it have any rectangular faces joining these two faces? No. What does it have? It has a curved surface. Now, a cylinder is not a prism. Can you tell me why? Because it does not have polygonal faces and it does not have rectangular faces. Okay? Does it have any edge? What is an edge again? 
when two faces meet it forms a straight line right that is called an edge do you see any straight line here no so it does not have any edge does it have any corners any vertices no right so it does not have any vertices there is again a special type of shape here okay. it looks like an ice cream cone right okay so the name of the shape is also a cone now does it look like a pyramid to you let's see if it is a pyramid does it have a polygonal face is circle a polygon no right so a cone does not have a polygonal face does it have any triangular faces see no it does not have any triangular faces so this shape is not a pyramid now let's talk about cone on its own if you look at the cone carefully it has a circular face or a circular base and it has a curved surface a curved surface does it have any edge no it does not have any edge okay now the point top point that you see here is called an apex so what does a cone have a cone has a circular base a curved surface and an apex are you clear with that okay now look at this shape can you see this shape all right you play a lot with this shape right you have football you have basketball you have tennis ball right you're very familiar with this shape now what do we call this shape this shape is called a sphere repeat after me a sphere do you see any face on this shape any flat surface on this shape no right this shape only has one curved surface do you see any edge on this shape no this shape does not have any edge not even a curved edge do you see any vertex on this shape see no this shape does not have any vertex so a sphere only has one curved surface no corners no edges now we have looked at what are 3d shapes and we have also looked at what are prisms and pyramids so before I end this lesson I would want I want to request you all to try and recollect what you have learned in this lesson by doing the following activities look around your house spot some 3d objects some 3d shapes and try to name them all right if you want to explore more shapes there is a fun activity you can do you can take some dough in your house knead it well then try to mold them into different shapes and then count their number of sides their number of faces and their number of corners see if they are prisms or pyramids all right you can also do that by drawing these shapes 3d shapes on pieces of paper and uh, try and compare these shapes can you do that thank you very much for attending this lesson stay clean stay safe keep washing your hands and keep smiling